Welcome to the KS and the Stop News Show. My name is Connor. This is the news for the week of February 8th, 2020. Hello, Stott Stallions. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great week, Stott Stallions. Remember to be respectful, be responsible, and be kind. Hello, my name is Olivia. Here's what's happening at Stop This Week. Today after school, News Team B will meet after school for planning. Classroom Valentine's Day parties are on Thursday afternoon. Please do not bring Valentine's for other students this year. There is no school on Friday for students or next Monday because it is President's Day. Enjoy your time off! Hello, this is Nathan for the weather f- with the weather for this week. On Monday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 37 and a low of 20. On Tuesday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 39 and a low of 21. On Wednesday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 42 and a low of 24. On Thursday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 45 and a low of 24. On Friday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 44 and a low of 24. Thank you, Stout Stallion. Here's Mason with the birthdays for this week. Hello. Here are the students who are celebrating their birthdays this week. Colton H. in fourth grade and Oliver L. in first grade. Happy birthday, everyone. Speaking of birthdays, happy birthday to Miss Adams' new baby boy, Walker. Walker was born on February 1st. In late November 2020, some German divers found an Enigma device in the bottom of the Baltic Sea. This device was the first one to break codes during World War II. Here's a video that will, that will tell you more about it. German divers searching the Baltic Sea for discarded fishing nets have stumbled upon a rare Enigma cipher machine used by the Nazi military during World War II, which they believe was thrown overboard from a scuttled submarine. Thinking they had discovered a typewriter entangled in a net on the seabed of Jelting Bay, underwater archaeologist Florian Huber quickly realized the historical significance of the find. I've made many exciting and strange discoveries in the past 20 years, but I never dreamt that we would one day find one of the legendary Enigma machines, said Huber. The Nazi military used the machines to send and receive secret messages during World War II but British cryptographers cracked the code, helping the Allies gain an advantage in the naval struggle to control the Atlantic. At Bletchley Park Code Breaking Centre, a British team led by Alan Turing is credited with unravelling the code, shortening the war and saving many thousands of lives. Shortly before Germany's surrender in May 1945, the crews of about 50 submarines, or U-boots, followed an order to scuttle their ships in Jelting Bay, near the Danish border, to avoid handing them to the Allies. Destroying encryption devices was part of the order. We suspect our Enigma went overboard in the course of this event, said Huber, of the keel-based company Submaris, which leads underwater research missions. Overall, Germans sank more than 200 of their submarines in the North and Baltic Seas at the end of the war. The Enigma device, which looks like a typewriter, consisted of a keyboard and wheels which scrambled messages. Although several hundred thousand machines were produced, only a few hundred are known to exist. They sell at auction for tens of thousands of euros. The find, made by divers working on behalf of WWF aiming to find abandoned fishing nets that endanger marine life, will be given to the Archaeology Museum in Schleswig. I hope everyone is remembering to be respectful, responsible, and kind. Here's Mrs. Blackley to announce this week's wristband winners. These are all students who have demonstrated respectful, responsible, and kind behaviors last week. Keep up the good work, Stott Stallions. Hi, Stott Stallions. This is Miss Blackley, and I'm here to read the wristband winners. And I have a special announcement. There are three classes that have won their class party, and that's from turning over all those letters outside of their room um, when they get a whole class compliment. So I'm going to shout out Miss Davis's class, and they her class decided to do a pajama party day. 
Miss Bagus's class is going to do popcorn and a movie party. And Miss Kiefer's class is going to do a stuffed animal read-in. So congratulations to those three classes. And I know everyone's working really hard, so keep up the good work. All right, so now for the wristband winners for respectful, responsible, and kind. We're going to start with kindergarten first grade, Miss Heisel's class, William B., Lexi D., and Zoe M., Moving on to Miss Smith's class, Serenity E, Aubrey W, and Robbie C, and Miss Kiefer's class, Harrison Z, Aubrey M, and Ace P, Miss Bagus's class, Evan A, Wyatt S, and Adam B, Miss Davis's class, Cooper B. Regan C and McKenna D, Ms. Ziner's class, Harvey S, Juliet M, Arlen J, and then Ms. Hostetler's class, Daisy M, Izzy D, and Mason K, and Ms. Snedekor's class, Tegan, Daniel, and Aaron. All right, everyone, that's the winners announced this week. Keep up the good work, everyone. We love seeing all the respectful, responsible, and kind behavior at Stott. See you next time. Bye. Last week's question of the week was, what is fast, loud, and crunchy? The answer is a rocket ship. The winner is Riley W. from Mrs. Bletchler's remote fourth grade class. Your prize will be mailed to you. This week's question of the week is, they come out at night without being called and are lost in the day without being stolen. What are they? To answer, fill out the Google form on the Stott Library website by the end of school on Tuesday. Thanks for tuning into channel 121. For all the news that matters to Stott, make every day count.